welcome to this week's steam culture. Well, in 1845, the metal forging industry was changed forever with the invention of the steam hammer. Now, by metal forging, I mean when they take that glowing hot metal and they beat it into submission, into whatever shape they need, discs, sheets, bars, all kinds of stuff. That's all done with pressure and impact. Now, the steam hammer was a revolutionary invention in that it used steam to drop a ram from a, a certain height down onto the metal and then pull it back up. Attached to the base of the steam hammer was a steam cylinder and they would pump steam into it and it would fill the cylinder and lift the piston up. The piston would raise the ram, so that would be the upstroke. On the downstroke, they'd flip the valve, drop all the steam out and gravity would take over and down would come the ram and impact the metal and they would do this repeatedly until they got the shape they want. That's a single acting steam hammer. They did have a double acting steam hammer in which the steam would fill the cylinder, lift the ram. They would also use the pressure of the steam to push down on the ram. So you got steam pressure plus gravity. Could deliver an amazing amount of force down on the metal. Now the big daddy of the time was built in 1877 by the Schneider Electric Company in Creusot, France. It's called the Creusot Steam Hammer. Could deliver 100 tons of force. And that was the biggest of the day until the Bethlehem Iron Company bought the rights to it, brought it over to America and built one that could deliver 125 tons of force. Maybe they just did that for spite, just to say, hey, we're the big dudes. But anyway, super impressive. Go out and Google steam hammers. Uh, I've never seen one before, but they are massive machines. I think you'll appreciate it. While you're out there, Google us, because we'll have content for you, just like we do each and every week. And I will see you next Friday. Have a good weekend.